Yes, as you can see, it is a very warm uh, day here at uh, Juma, and well, I think uh, dam hopping is going to be the choice of order for the afternoon, for the beginning. But yes, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Cedric, and behind the camera with me here on Wendy, we've got Rehan. So thanks, thanks for joining. Ooh, we've got some Impala. Can you get it through there, Rehan? You think so? Let's see if we can review some beautiful impalas for the afternoon. What a wonderful way to start. Some elephants, some impala, as you can see there in the distance. There we go. A few females, a young male looking at us. And it's pretty much getting quite hot this afternoon, I'm sure. Oh, we've got some uh, dwarf mongoose here, I think we're out here underneath. There's a little dwarf mongoose, busy playing around there on the termite mound. Hello! Yes, you're coming to visit us, eh? You're coming to visit us now. Hmm? Hello! Yes, oh, showing is like a little bit of a interesting little posture there. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, he's pooping. Oh, he's pushing out a little nugget there. Oh my word. All right. Those are the things of us. Thank you. All right. Well, we are at uh, Twin Dams. We just had some elephants coming down for a drink on the hot afternoon. And slowly but surely, it looks like they have finished up. And now they are moving off with one youngster remaining, trailing behind the rest, the naughty one. Well, 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 everybody, finally we have tracked Miss Clalamba down. We found her here in the quarry as we're coming on the fire break. We've got old Clalamba. Good afternoon, my girl. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. And she's in that groove there. We're going to zoom in very shortly. Good afternoon, my girl. We've got a beautiful leopardess that is just resting. So I put her just a little... Uh, put her down. She's just looking around. Oh, a yawn. Maybe a bit of a sign. She might want to get up. Oh, yeah. Oh, no one's talking back. All right, yeah. Here she goes. Thought she wants to move very soon. Oh, a good old yawn. Where are you going to go now, girl? Oh, Laura Moore. Yeah, she had a lovely little couch. She had a lovely couch. Past tense. Now she's going straight south. And where she's going to go, I think she's going to end up going into a little gallery. Great, uh, I'm just picking a very important thing in the echo uh, system, elephant dung. If we look at the elephant dung close to Karana weather because I'm also moving and shaking at the same time. But you can see lots of grass sticking out on this thing. If I look by my naked eyes, I just peel it off. I've seen a beetle that was moving here. You can see here <coughs> this channel that goes inside and even this side. So that's it created by the beetles. We don't see much beetles, of course, but some of the beetles inside this dung, you get them automatically. Some of them is the uh, eggs that uh, get from, or elephant collected from the grass itself. And once it goes to the digestion system, it's able to um, get hatched and start to be active inside this uh, elephant dung. And first of all, they start to eat this dung before they get out and become adult. Great, we have this beautiful, beautiful uh, zebra here. To identify a female and a male zebra, a lot more easy. Look underneath that uh, black strap lined under the, underneath the tail. The male have a thinner line that run under the tail towards the, I mean, between the two legs, to the bellies, where the female, the strap is larger, is big, that runs underneath the tail 
up to the belly side that it's how actually you can identify male and the female a lot more easy these are our dagger boys or bulls that are withdrawn from the metric society it could be age it could be cause of competition because they work very hard when it comes to a breeding head they decided to uh, really withdraw in the structure of the breeding head and do their own thing without a head concern it is true that the buffalo they can move they don't move far away from water but especially if it's an old bull heavy they tend to be like in in surrounding where it's water and of course healthy grass if you look at the area where we are here it's called the old boma the grass are such amazing they're still in a very perfect condition very tall it looks like uh, hardly there's no uh, buffalo that gets into the area most of time you get to see the elephant comes in the area mole weni good afternoon hello everybody and welcome back to the amakala game reserve where what a welcome back we've had we are now sitting with the three amigo cheetahs aka the three male coalition of cheetah but now we've got these three boys all to ourselves and just look at that light it is very special indeed so these three really becoming accomplished hunters and it looks like they're taking down just about whatever they feel like so what is it that they took down i think probably during the night or yesterday it would have been but that animal shame is no more and is uh, going to be sustaining these guys for the next couple of days Elephants are slowly coming out there, just going to a little muddy section there that they having a bit of, well, this particular one is having a bit of a splash and just trying to cool itself down. So you'll notice that the back has gotten quite wet, so it's sucking up mud there and then spraying it behind the ears. Um, I've parked quite a long way away because this is one of the ones that's quite shy, um, and so it doesn't really want us close. Um, it keeps kind of moving if we go anywhere near it, so just parking a long way away. It also happens to be in a little shady spot for us and so it was a bit of a long distance view of an early but it's okay um, still nice to watch them go about their their business of cooling down and you can see how effective they are doing it with their trunk i mean this animal's pretty much covered the back of its ears it will have covered its chest um, and between its legs which is all areas that's got the thinnest skin and therefore that's going to have the biggest effect in cooling blood um, if you can spray areas with mud or water um, onto those places and then between the wind and the flapping of ears that's going to create cooling um, remember then as things are hot and they heat up and water evaporates so cooling takes place hey guys what you guys all doing in the sun seems like a crazy place for impalas to be this afternoon there's no shade really you can see quite a nice herd of mixed individuals we've got males we've got females we've got fairly young animals well we've even got two warthogs three warthogs four warthogs there they come trotting typical of a warthog generally not sticking around for very long i'm going to turn off so we don't have to listen to the droning of rusty's engine oh uh, here they are here see it in the middle of that spotlight you can just see its body um i don't know i'm gonna leave the spotlight on unfortunately because the infrared won't reach that far so you guys can see the eyes moving there um that's said little lesser bush baby uh, <coughs> you can see the tail coming down and then the head moving around as well um so hopefully it will start to move and you guys will actually be able to see it this looks like two of them there so one that's facing towards us and then one that potentially is facing away from us so anyway it's that time of the night where we're going to say goodbye to all of you hopefully you have had a wonderful afternoon i hope you enjoyed a brief view of clalumba and all the other little things that were out and about this afternoon hopefully tomorrow will be a better day <laughs>